Fall Night Chapter 5 Season 2 has been leaked and we have all new Battle Pass skins that have been revealed as well as the overall theme of Season 2 which is absolutely amazing as well as the brand new map and much much more. So you're going to want to make sure you're sticking around to the very end of today's video as we're going to be going over everything. But just before we do get into that I would like to let you guys know that I do get five subscribers here inside of the Fortnite item shop every single day. So if any of you guys want a gift, just drop a like on this video, subscribe with all notifications, and then leave a comment with your epic ID down below. And if you would like to support the channel, be sure to use my supporter creator code BR4 inside of the item shop hashtag ad. Starting off in season two, we could be seeing some brand new additions to Creative 2.0 or UEFN, which could actually be the addition of Fortnite X Minecraft. As you guys can see here, this is a Mecha Steve, and this looks absolutely insane. We've got gameplay of the pickaxe, the glider, and mythic item, which is actually modded here inside of Creative, and this could actually be a feature possibly coming out in Season 2. Obviously, we have Creative 2.0, but maybe people could start integrating Minecraft and all of that type of stuff inside of Creative properly so loads of people could use it. Maybe some Minecraft maps and a bunch of different games as well, not just Minecraft, which I think would be absolutely insane. And it wouldn't be a bad idea as well if maybe we saw a Mecha Steve skin inside of the game or any Minecraft skin. Could Fortnite collab with a whole nother game? We'll have to wait and see. But this mecha steve skin does look absolutely insane guys shout out to dev inc for this footage it looks crazy as well next season it would make a ton of sense to finally see fortnite and five nights at freddy finally making its way into the game since we did think we was going to get collabs with fortnite and five nights at freddy because of the recent movie and here on screen is Glamrock Freddy that will be inside of the Battle Pass, which it will look like this inside of the Season 2 Battle Pass, which honestly looks really, really cool. And we will get some other skins as well from Five Nights at Freddy's, like Freddy Fazbear, and a ton of cool different rewards. But next season is based around Greek mythology, as it is actually codenamed Agar, which in Greek means goat in Greek mythology, and Amal Thea, a goat raised Zeus. And also, we have a lightning spawn effect found in the game, indicating a Zeus boss. And this means we are going to be getting a Zeus skin inside of the battle pass, which will look like this up on screen, guys. This looks absolutely insane. And it does obviously make a lot of sense, since Zeus is kind of like the face of Greek mythology. And not only that, but there's five bosses which are set to be across the Season 2 map, which have two code names, which is Agar Z and Agar C. If I said that right, which is Zeus and Cerberus. And here on screen is some survey outfits of Greek gods, which appear modernized. And this indicates the Greek mythology theme even more, as you guys can actually see up on screen. These are all of the survey skins. Some of these look absolutely insane. And let me know in the comment section below, guys, what survey skin out of all of these would you like to see in the next battle pass? I also picked out some additional survey skins up on screen here. And some of these are actually from the survey list, which I just showed you guys. But one of them, which I thought was interesting, was this Galaxy Jonesy skin. As you guys can see, this kind of looks like a Greek god because Greek mythology indicates like Greek gods, Greek goddesses, not just Greek gods, Greek goddesses as well. And as you guys can see, this uh, looks absolutely insane, this like Greek Galaxy Jonesy skin. I think this could be a potential battle pass skin next season. And then we've also got this skin up on screen, which is called Cerberus, which could also be a boss. This, I think, will definitely make its way into next season. It just looks like it definitely will. And it looks really, really cool. It's got like green and black frames, flame, sorry, coming off him. And it just looks amazing. But next season, first person mode is finally going to be arriving to the game, which will make the game a lot more popular and give it that sort of Call of Duty aspect to it, which I think everyone will love. And we've been waiting for first person mode now for so, so long. Additionally, weapon charms are going to be coming out to put on the weapons 
for first person mode which is going to look absolutely insane you guys can see we've got a bunch of different weapon charms here which will be arriving to the game which looks absolutely crazy guys i literally can't wait to use weapon charms and for the first person mode we also do have a potential name for season two which is the olympians basically this name is greek mythology like a name so it's called olympians which is related to greek mythology which i think makes a lot of sense we have a concept promotional art up on screen here which looks really really cool this is actually what it could be like and since next season is based around greek gods kratos himself is one which means he's going to be returning back inside of the fortnite item shop alongside the leviathan axe as his bundle because i know a ton of you guys have been waiting for the Leviathan Axe and Kratos to come back for so, so long. And not to mention, we are going to be getting a brand new Battle Pass skin, which is going to be Agent Jones joining the Seven, becoming the seventh member, guys, as you guys can see up on screen. And this makes a lot of sense because he's been working for the Seven for many seasons now. So it is time for this to happen. And he's going to be called the Legend. He will get an edit style with a helmet on and a helmet off, as you guys can see up on screen. And it could potentially be the tier 100 skin which i think is definitely pretty cool epic is working on a new car hijacking feature but you'll be able to hijack other players cars it has a cooldown and the action can be cancelled a hijacking can fail if the driver takes a sharp turn or if the car goes too far so it's going to be pretty much like gta where you can actually get inside of someone's car when they're driving it and you can literally throw them out of the car and get inside their vehicle so it's going to be very similar to gta which i think is definitely pretty cool and i'm super excited for the car hijacking which will be coming out next season as well another new battle pass skin which will be arriving is actually going to be greek fish as you guys can see up on screen this is what the greek fish skin will look like inside of the battle pass and this skin looks really really cool if you guys didn't know it's from a poy which is on the map right now as you guys can see it is this greek fish skin and yeah it looks absolutely amazing and it is literally on a poy on the map right now and obviously this is like a greek skin so it definitely will be inside of next season's battle pass and if they don't do this then fortnite are just messing up because this skin looks nuts but epic is currently working on a new rope swinging movement mechanic where you'll be able to swing from fixed ropes and chandeliers that you can find around the map which will be perfect for season two for movement similar to the spider-man mythic web shooters but of course you won't be using some spider-man webs you'll actually be using some ropes and chandeliers to get around the map and with this we will be getting rope grappling as a new chapter 5 movement mechanic where you'll be able to climb up ropes that you can find scattered around the island and this does include swinging ropes and chandeliers from what i literally just said so those steep hills that you can't get up on especially on zero build it's going to be much easier for you guys to do it now and we actually have the actual start date for season two but first of all this is the estimated update schedule for chapter five season one leading into season two january 23rd is the 28.10 update and then we have the 28.20 on february 6th the 28.30 on february 20th and then we've got the 20 update the v29 update which is season two which is coming down on march 8th so march 8th is the official release day for season two and we don't know if we're getting a live event yet so we'll just have to wait and see but time to wrap up today's video as that's all i have for you guys hopefully you did enjoy be on the lookout for the brand new season two battle pass guys it's gonna be absolutely insane you're definitely gonna want to cop this remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on check out this feral trailer up on screen next and i'll catch you in the next video peace